Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. Hello, it's Emmy. Welcome back. Today, I'm going to be starting a new series called Hard Times, where I'm going to be exploring recipes and foods that were created during times of difficulty, like the Great Depression, or like this recipe, which was created in the 1990s in Cuba, where there were food shortages and people created steaks out of grapefruit skins. Yes, today I'm going to be making beef steak de toronja. Toronja is grapefruit. So this is going to be a faux steak that is made with the white pithy part right underneath this skin. It's going to be a little bit like a German schnitzel or a Japanese tonkatsu. It's going to be breaded and deep fried. But I'm really curious to see if this is going to taste at all bitter, if it's going to have any sour grapefruity notes at all. What does the pith taste like when it's cooked? It's something that I always discarded. I love grapefruit. So this is a great example of nothing being wasted. We're going to just shave this top layer off save the pith, and then you still have the juicy fruit inside. So when I was researching Bistec de Torona, I found a video which this recipe is inspired by, and I'll put the link down below. So this recipe was invented in the 1990s in Cuba during a period of time where food was very scarce and there was a lot of food rationing, so people really had to make do. So my goal for the series is not only to satisfy my curiosity about what these recipes taste like, but also to learn and to empathize with what people struggled with during these times. And perhaps that'll explain why, for example, anti or grandma is so frugal because she lived through those times, right? She knows what it was to be hungry. So I've mentioned this before, but I love learning about culture and history through the lens of food. So the next thing I'm going to be tackling in this series, I believe will be the Great Depression. I just ordered a book that will be coming soon that includes recipes and stories about how people made things mean, how they got by during times of difficulty. All right, let's go ahead and start making our beef steak. I got myself the biggest grapefruit that I could find at the grocery store, and I'm going to remove the very top layer of the grapefruit as thinly as possible. In the video, they use a paring knife, but I'm thinking that I can even get a thinner layer with a vegetable peeler. So I'm gonna try doing that. Yes, I'm gonna use a vegetable peeler and just take off just the top layer of the grapefruit. Oh, it smells so good. I love grapefruit. Fresh grapefruit juice is the best. Oh, it smells so good. My grandmother used to actually save these peels and use them in the bathroom. If you squeeze it, you can see a little bit of the juice come out. Ugh, it smells so good. And in Japan, you actually see yuzu, which is another type of citrus, it's kind of lemony, and they put it in their bath water to perfume the bath. We're gonna take this and cut it in half. There's my grapefruit, and this looks like it has a pretty good pith layer. So over a large bowl, we're gonna just carefully remove the fruit using our thumbs to kind of leverage it out like that. We wanna keep this in one piece if at all possible because we want this to look like a steak. Cut this so we don't make a hole. ta -da! There it is, the pith. Wow, look at that. And there's our fruit. And then we'll do the same with this side. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, ah. <laughs> don't you just love being squirted in the face? No, I don't actually. Rhetorical question. I, yeah, sometimes I talk too much. So when I was a kid, I was a pretty good student, but on every report card, my mom knew to expect that my teacher would say I talk too much. Like, oh, she talks too much. She's a very bright young lady, but she talks too much. And uh, my mom actually saw me talking to myself on the swing set in the backyard. And she's like, you know, maybe we should have another kid. But I still talk a lot. <laughs> it's just my nature. Okay, and there we have it. The fruit is separated from the pith. That's actually quite lovely. Look at that, like coconut shells, but not. Okay, they actually don't smell like much. So all the grapefruit scent is actually in the zest of it, the color portion of the grapefruit. This actually doesn't smell like much. My hands on the other hand smell lovely, and the fruit doesn't smell like much either. Awesome, okay, now we're gonna prepare the cutlets. I'm gonna remove the little stem stalk right there. Did you know if you have like a pork chop and you want it to fry flat, that if you give it little cuts around the perimeter, that it will cook flat, it's true. Now we're gonna season them with a bit of salt. Both sides. And pepper. 
Amazing what a little seasoning can do. Crack an egg. To my egg mixture, I'm gonna add one clove of minced garlic. Okay. So now we're ready to bread and put some breadcrumbs. Now we're gonna bread our grapefruit. So coat that up. It's kind of amazing how it does look a little bit meat-like, huh? Okay, so bread in there. There it is. Alrighty, so now we're ready to fry the grapefruit cutlets. I've got some oil heating here. It's on medium high. It smells good. Looking great. Browning up nicely. And it smells delicious. It smells garlicky and fried. That looks done. Drain it on some paper toweling. Merch, 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 merch. Do you want a piece of Winston? Check out the link down below to see how you can get yourself an official Winston t-shirt, only offering them for a limited time only, so act quickly. Do you look at this? Isn't it incredible? I don't think if you showed this to anybody in a million years would they ever guess that this is grapefruit pith. Ever, ever. It looks just like meat. It looks like a chicken pork cutlet. So I've garnished it with a little bit of cilantro and I have a lemon wedge. I love a little bit of acid with fried things, but I'm gonna try it plain first. Nice crispy crust. Look at that. It even looks like meat. That's amazing. It has a little bit of resistance and it looks like meat. Look at that. It's a lucky mouse. Hmm. There is a distinctive bitterness to it. It definitely tastes bitter, but the texture is surprisingly meat-like, and the flavor is pretty good. The pith itself is pretty meat-like. It's kind of got a slightly spongy, resistant texture, kind of like meat. The exterior is wonderful, nice and crisp and crunchy, which is a nice kind of compliment to the pith itself. The flavor, though, hmm, hmm. The outside is very familiar. It's that same signature flavor that you have with mozzarella sticks, that bread crummy, garlicky, crisp, salt and peppery exterior, exactly the same, thin and crackly. Interior is completely different. This is actually significantly bitter. This is where the bitterness of the grapefruit is. It's in the pith. So it has kind of an astringent, bitter quality to it, particularly at the very end. It's kind of like when you have tonic water straight up, like tonic water without the gin, <laughs> it has that really pronounced bitterness, and that's what this has. It definitely is an assault on your senses and your expectations because you're like, oh, this looks delicious, this looks like my little chicken cutlet, and then when you eat it, oh, wow, it's very bitter. Hmm. Maybe this is a time where condiments are in order. Let's see. Ketchup and barbecue sauce. Where's my barbecue sauce? So whenever you make a meal that's a little bit questionable, I always like to have insurance, and that means condiments. So I have some ketchup, barbecue sauce, and good old sriracha. All right, let's try it with the sriracha. Mmm, 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 mmm. Love sriracha, garlicky, echoes the garlic notes that are in the breading, and you don't notice the bitterness quite as much. The heat's always welcome as well. Okay, now barbecue sauce. Whoa. Actually, that doesn't work. Mm -mm. Barbecue sauce is too strong, too smoky, too sweet. Although it does eliminate some of the bitterness, it's not a compliment to that combination. Mm -mm. All right, lastly, ketchup. Mmm, mmm. Ketchup is good. That, again, goes back to the combination of mozzarella sticks, ketchup, kind of bar food. Yes, ketchup actually works in my opinion, really well with that, as does the sriracha. 
maybe an application of salt prior to and letting it kind of leach out a little bit, kind of similar to what you would do to eggplant slices if you're making eggplant parmesan, maybe that would get some of the bitterness out. But all in all, very, very impressed with how this looked, how it cooked up. It tastes not so much, but in times of difficulty, you often don't really have a choice, do you? Alrighty, so there you have it, Bistec de Toronja, the steak made out of grapefruit peel. I hope you guys enjoy that one. I hope you guys learned something. Share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Let me know if there are recipes you want me to taste and try out. And I shall see you in my next video. Toulou, take care. Bye! <laughs>